teeth the next morning. We can see that fermentation has started. There's a couple of signs that give this away. First is the, the multi uh, sweet yeasty sort of smell that we can, we can smell when we're, we open the door here. The second sign is that there's a thick yeast layer down the bottom here. This means that the yeast is multiplying and is dropping out of solution. The other sign is that something's happening is this colour is lightened slightly as the yeast gets stirred up and put through the suspension. The other way we can tell is that there's a slight bulge in the plastic wrap. We can see that CO2 is being produced and creating gas which has created slight pressure. This gas will escape through the hole we made but uh, it's useful to see that it's happening. I would have liked to see a, a thicker head here and a darker rim. Uh, fermentation seems to be a little bit sluggish but I'm okay with where things are at. I'm comfortable that the yeast is doing its job and it's working away. It'll get to where it needs to go. The other sign is that there's some bubbling activity on top of the fermenter. This means that the yeast is working and producing CO2. But the best way to check is to use a hydrometer so we can measure whether the viscosity or gravity is dropping. Pretty simple to use. All we need to do is fill up a sample. The other great sign is that there's some bubbling activity in here which means that this carbon dioxide which is being produced is showing itself as bubbles so that all looks fine. The way we test is we spin the, the hydrometer to agitate it and get the bubbles off which can give a false reading. And we can tell that we're, we're coming in at about 1038 which means that the, the gravity has dropped six points. That shows that fermentation started, so there's something happening there, so we're confident that um, there's no problems with fermentation. The yeast is going to continue to do its job. It'll work through and consume a lot of the sugars in there. Eventually it'll fall flat and this will get clearer still. So I'm comfortable now that if this temperature stays in the right range, it's going to continue to ferment until the sugars have been consumed and fermentation is finished.